Hi, welcome to In The Workshop. I'm David. Today I'm going to show you how I made my space rocket. So here's the rocket and there's the space. So join me in just a second and I'll show you how I did it. Got some off cut to maple and a couple of bits of mahogany. I'm just marking the centres now and then I'll be drawing circles and then doing a rough cut on the bandsaw. So what I'm doing here is just fetching the rough off on these, ready for gluing the surfaces together on here. And uh, where I put the hole saw through, I'll just be lining all them up on the inside so they're nice and level and straight. So we've got the main part of the rocket glued up. And I've got glue in between this end. So this is the nose part. So I'm just gluing these up now. Obviously this part isn't as hard to uh, glue up as the other. On this nose part, I haven't cut any holes in. Leaving that solid to turn down. Right, we'll leave these to glue overnight. And I'll be back in the morning to carry on with them. So see you in just a second. Morning everyone, it's the next day, so we can take the clamps off and figure out how we're going to turn these up. I'm no wood turner, so I just uh, try and figure out ways I can do it. So I probably won't be using the way that a proper wood turner would be doing it. But hopefully we'll get the result in the end so i need to fix this to something at that end and i think because of the length of that it could do with supporting at this end so what i've done i've just got a circle of rough off cut bit of wood i've just put a bit of a taper on there so i'm hoping that that's going to sit in there and the point of this i'll wind in to hold that in to support that end. Hopefully it'll work without all dropping apart. We'll find out in a minute. So this end I'm thinking about for a start screwing on the face plate and then uh, the face plate will be in the way for turning right at the end but I'm thinking of taking the face plate off then and uh, then I'll fit this piece of wood that I have onto there and then uh, then screw this onto that piece of wood so I can get right round the end, but we'll see anyway. So I've got the centre mark there and a bit of a hole there.
Right, all kitted up for the mess that is wood turning. So, uh, yeah, usually it's quite a messy job. Let's see how we get on. I'll stick my rough example that I've got, the shape, over here so I can roughly see it. long time I've just got to keep going get the shape nice I've still got some steps to get out of here try and get a bit further in here shape this a bit more I've got to get that mark out but slowly getting there so this main body of the rocket that's about done what I'm gonna do now is sand it up so I've got this end to do, so I'm going to sand as much as I can and then we're going to change this end a bit so we're able to finish the end off. So there we've got that block of wood. I've put that screw through first and then screwed the block of wood on and then... Uh, got a tiny hole in there I'm going to screw that onto there and then put the face plate back on there then hopefully we can get to this end to round it off just to finish it off I've got this set on there I've had to put that bit of wood there to try and hold this because this is shaking the hell out of this look so let's try and get this end done before it shakes the lathe to bits The first part turned up it's not bad i decided not to round the bottom off as much as i did on my drawing just because i quite wow. like how i got it like that and it's having some tail pieces fitted on there so now we've got to turn the end to match up with that and sit on the top of there There we go, so that'll do for the top. So I'm going to give this a sanding now. I need that end like that because I'm going to be drilling a hole in there. And on here, there I've put that step in there, which will sit in the top of, in the top of there, hopefully. So what we're going to do now is... Uh, Drill the end there and put this 6mm dowel into it. So we're just going to cut a piece of this dowel off. And we're having one of these wooden balls on the end of the dowel. 
just for like an antenna. You can get these from craft places, these little wooden balls. this on turn that around as I push it in what I've done here is just make a cardboard template for like the tail fins so I've got cut out the shape until I was happy with it this is just a piece of oak, a like a door panel, just a bit of a oak door panel. And so I'm going to draw around this and cut out four of these. Cut out the tail fins. All I'm doing now is just taking a little bit off the centre of this piece because of the curve on the uh, rocket body. So it'll just make it come tighter on the edges. That's the idea. So I'm just taking a little bit out the centre of this length and it should make it fit a little bit better. The workshop's looking like a bomb's hit it. The stuff chucked all over but I always have a good clean up after I've finished a project so I've got these fitting pretty good on the edges of there got them all numbered up so I know which one goes where it should really fit all the same all the way around um, so what I'm gonna do now is all these tail pieces I'm gonna round the edges and everything on the sander I could do it on a router, but uh, there's not a lot of, to hold on to. And I think I can do a decent enough job on here because I don't want too much of a round on there. just uh, making a bit of a hole with the braddle because what I'm going to do is dowel these into the base there into the side to make it nice and strong so it's not just a glue joint <laughs> get one of these these are for marking your dowel holes so you just put it in your you get different sizes just put it in the hole and then place this where you want it to be and press and then that makes an indentation where you're going to be drilling Check it first. That's going to work a treat. <laughs> so all I've got to do is push it on, make sure it's square on there. And then that's good. Put a glue on it. So what I'm on with next is doing the little porthole 
on the rocket and I was thinking about just using a clear lid and chopping it off uh, using a force and a bit to drill a hole then creating a surround around the edge of the, uh, the plastic porthole but the wife keeps hold of things for me she keeps hold of jars and things just in case I need to put nails and screws and things in she's kept hold of this uh, this is one of them that you have the sticks in into the liquid which is like an air freshener that goes up and then uh, soaks up the sticks and, and I was looking at this and I quite like the end of that because it has a metal rim there and all this is wood there's just that plastic bit in there but my plan is to use this cut that off there and then set this into a hole drilled with the force in a bit so I think that's going to work a treat no an easy job's turned into a hard one that tip is just riding across out of the hole which is really bad so what I'm doing I'm just going to drill loads of holes and then try and clean it up afterwards Right, there you go once it's done with a load of holes it looks like a rat's been chewing it so what we're going to do is change this drum and uh, put on a new one put on a little one that i can fit through there and sand it all sorted this out then so and I've also cut that on the bandsaw just to be the same shape as the inside of there so it doesn't stick through so now that's ready for gluing in there video hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing and i'll see you next time in the workshop take care